Welcome back to every, our everyday living everyone on back at good old Harvey Norman doing a pickup. Get the trolley off so we can get the fridge and I'm gonna show you a few things with dishwashers too. So if you're ever picking up a dishwasher, um, if you want to know more about stainless steel, you probably already know anyway. But it's a key thing if you want to make a bit more money, take the stainless steel out. The stainless steel is worth more than the actual whole dishwasher. fridge back here we're going to pick up two um, the only thing is with the fridge if I can get in here god damn they've made a mess in here <laughs> make a bit of room in here is there cardboard one full no oh my goodness styrofoam I just want to get the fridge, make a bit of room to get the um, other stuff too. Oh dear, knocking myself about there. Ooh, yeah, not blowing away. I need to clean this up. Yes. Huh? Where do you want me to put this camera I don't know. I'm not there. I said I don't know. I'm not there. Find a dry spot. Find a dry spot. Yeah. Right, eh? Bye. Bye. Fancy things, hey. Now, the thing is with fridges, that's just gross. Find me magnet. You'd think that's stainless steel. It's actually not stainless steel. Magnet sticks to it. That's a um, magnet out of a um, bit of plastic there. I don't want plastic throw that that way um see they're not worth much there's a bit of stainless maybe alloy right so that's what you can take out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull that out of there they've taken the hands off Ooh, yuckies 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 that's total yuck i'll pull the motor out of this that was june on the phone Pull the motor out, pull all the copper out. There's a, um, oh, might be something in there too. Yeah, in behind there, there'd probably be an aluminium core. Don't know what's down the bottom. Um, but we'll get over to these, over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about over here with these three dishwashers. All right, the outer, outer stages here, that's plastic. That's stainless, it's not sticking to it. Alright, so that's good. Yeah, I've got to, got to get rid of all of that water out of there. These are metal. That's stainless, it's not sticking to it. 
So you can get a bit of stainless out of them, even though they've got plastic drawers and stuff like that. Um, I don't get much for the ferrous stuff. So that's the thing, copper core, cord and a um, few little motors in that one. See that's magnetic. Alright, that's plastic. Stainless steel inside there, that's good. What have we got down the side here? And see that one sticks. The bottom. Bottom is stainless. The back is not. See? So that's just a bit of an insight. On that one. Got a bit of brass there. Stainless steel there. Not up there. Probably will be on the bottom. Oh yes. So we got a fair bit of stainless in that. A uh, bit of sheet metal, which is not worth much for me. I take the plastic out, of course. Nor the copper. So let's get this all loaded. Let's get back and help June out. Alright. Do away with this crappy yuck. Somehow, that is just crappy plastic yuck. They can have that. Just yuck. A loaf of bread. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> It's all plastic. Less plastic I take the bed. <laughs> I don't have to dispose of the stuff then. Yeah, I'll we'll leave that there. diving in that one. I can do it during the, my own music now. If they allow me. Got some yucky stuff in there now. Where's it? Oh no. Do away with the glass sheets. Where's me magnet? Me magnet. Plastic. Yep. Plastic. about those little runners doesn't add much value to me I'd be lucky to get out of this whole fridge I'd lucky to get probably two dollars out of it anyway let's get it loaded Oh, you would 
do that, wouldn't you? don't work I don't bother trying to fix them up or anything like that unless it's a washing machine I'll have a look see if it's gonna work no washing machines here today okay let's head the road yeah, what have we got here in electrics nothing here today hang on Dishwashers, they can't a lot of water. Ugh, the magnets stick into the trolley. Might do a follow up on how I pull these apart. That might be a good idea. One of them apart for you, all. Doesn't take long. 15, 20 minutes. Just to reef one apart. one we'll hit the road Ooh. one apart earn some more dollars for our payload right let's get into pulling this one apart um, just mind my voice if it's going a bit croaky or things like that if you can hear it through the camera I've come across with a slight little cold um, didn't realize until this afternoon um, put a little light here so everyone can see um, so if I get into the shadow like that, I do apologise. It's fairly late in the afternoon doing this. Had other chores I had to do around here anyway. Uh, I like put caravans into place, that sort of thing. Anyway, what we're going to do is just take the top off. Whoops, I haven't got my screw container either yet. 
I've got a plastic container. Um, any ferrous metals, I'll put straight back in the trailer. So just bear with me, I'll go and grab a... Um, right, I've grabbed a screw container. That should just pop off if the sticky tape wasn't there. Uh, I'll just use these. Don't matter how you get it off. It's not going to matter, I'm dismantling it anyway. That's all plastic. So I'll just sit it down there with all the plastic. That's the top off. Now I'm going to take these screws out the back because that's what's facing me at the moment. Put them in my bucket. I can't have screws lying around here, you get too many flat tyres. Well, there's no screw in that one. It does not take long to pull these apart. They're quite easy. I've done that many of them. Alright, just going to spin it around before we even think about pulling the side. There is a lot of foam and that sort of thing, like insulation foam. It's plus it's sound deadening. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of stainless steel in this one too. The front part of the door is not stainless. It's an imitation stainless. Because if a magnet sticks to it, she's not stainless. That's a Japanese stainless. That's what they say to me. Um, all this door is stainless. I'll just go grab a magnet. Rusty steed. See, it does not stick to it. Like I was showing you earlier, um, the front of it. There you go. That's my trusty steed. Alright, so let's get this apart. What is it? Oh, tech. Those poor tech bits. Um, and it would be the one that's already on. That'd be good. Like I said, mind the light. It's keeping my head warm though. That's the one. Get our first piece of stainless off. already I've just got to get the screwdriver in there and it's off get all these before I worry about letting it go I've got a funny feeling why they upgraded because that don't close probably still worked and all that sort of thing but I don't want a dishwasher my hands are the dishwashers when I get around to it and help in June I do help her. Right, change her a bit. This is where another drill will be handy. That's alloy wire, it's not copper wire. They don't use copper wire in these. But there's a little solenoid there that's got copper in it. So you can take that out. Um, grab that. No matter how you get it out. Destroying it anyway, so it doesn't matter. got the silicon sort of feel of the wire. It's copper wire. Wow, we got some copper in this one. 
Must be Australian made. Set that there. No more in that. I've got to take that plastic out. Take all that crap out. I can leave that sound deadening on it. Just all that foam I've got to take off. And that'll be our first bit of stainless. So it's quite simple. If you want a bit more money, no, just go go through with the tech bit. Undo it all. Doesn't take that long. That's out. That's the plastic. That goes over there. And that's the first bit of stainless. Wow. Because they add this in the weight too. Because they what they do is they shred these. Goes as aluminium, um, not aluminium, it's stainless shred. So yeah, that's my first piece. Sit that there against our press. Got to put the press back together after taking all of our stuff to the recycler. Right, pull that out of there. Whoops. Do -do. Come on, out you come. Here we go. There we go. Now I can't use that circuit board. It's basically junk. So it's going in the trunk. Into there. It's not worth anything, he said. Because he only gets 20 cents a ton. So, pretty poor, but anyway. Uh, I just have them in my hands. Snick them off. Put that over there. It's much easier just to take it off like that. Put it over there too. You do get a lot of rubbish. But where we are, it's very handy. So we've got a big bin. Big dumpster. Yes, I do get the cans and everything out of that one too. I actually get them before they go in there. Which is handy. Very handy. Cut that off there. That up there. That feeds all underneath. piece off and that's tin goes up there right, got another one down in here plastic piece piece of tin, bit of plastic, this is where it just starts falling apart, a bit more rubbish, good for keeping you warm that stuff, it doesn't make you itchy, which is good, well don't make me itchy anyway, right, now it's only the bottom half that I want out of that rest out of this, but I'll probably have to uh, mangle it and cut it off and do things like that. Um, that can stay on there. And now, I've well, got it off anyway. Uh, where are we up to? This part here. That's on there. Yeah, there's a screw there that can stay. They can stay on there. That pump of fear's got to come off. It'll all start in here. These screens are also that screen there is stainless. That's a plastic one. 
Alright, so what we've got to do here. Bit tricky this one. That's rubbish. Stainless. Up there. Alright. This is how your pump comes out. Some more screws here, undo those, that'll release the pump. Oops. Oh, come on. It's on too. <laughs> I always forget them. Always rushing around doing other things. That's the problem. Never, never seem to um, remember for yourself. All right, that's the pump clear. Um, I want that stainless steel. All right, so that there will need to be cut off because that's riveted. That's riveted there. Right, cut that band. And cut that one. Because that's on that big spring. That one there, the adjuster spring. Alright. Too many of those. Right, go screw the. Separated from there, almost. A few more screws here. A few on the other side. Got to undo that plate there. Do do do. Yeah, we're just about there, I reckon. Cut that. We don't need that where we're going. that, pull that off there, it's off there, and this side, what do we got this side, nothing, it's, it's free, it's free, it's free, yay, so 
right now all the hinging still attached to the top half there's no spring on it which is good um, but I'll later on probably tomorrow I'll get to and you know get that bottom stainless steel piece off and uh, we'll get in and do this get the little motor out um, all the wire there's another solenoid there big ass cockroach down there too he's gonna be cut gonna cut him up where you come from I don't want you here yuckies put him in the bin where he belongs no, I can't get him out he's in the plastic I'll leave him there uh, we got a circuit board here, probably screwed on the bottom. No. Alright, let's start doing some cutting. That's the heating wires. on the side just break them off and that comes off I can leave the rest intact that's all we want big hunk of steel there I'll get that off later all right. don't want that we don't want the heater core oh, I'll have a look at it see what's involved if it's worthwhile I don't usually grab the heater cores not worth anything to me or the scrap metal deal I go to mm, no no it's only scrap steel that's all it is junk Junk to him and junk to me. Alright. How can I get that off there? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We will sort that out later. Just cut all this plastic stuff off. We're not salvaging none of it. And that's what we'll heat keep. Sort it out later. Grab that wire there, cut him off. It's a low water sensor in there. Uh, pull that off there. Be with me. Be right back. Went and got myself a screwdriver. Got a bit annoyed with myself and got, nah, I've got to go and get one. You can just pry those apart like that. You can leave it all intact that way. The little bits of steel that are on the outside, you can put them as you know, your ferrous metals, magnetic stuff. That way you're not throwing steel away. Like I did find out that it's only $150 a ton, so it's not really worth me doing much of the steel. Copper wire, I guess. Um, all that sort of thing. It's worth it for me. The circuit boards out of here aren't worth anything. Like I was explaining. Bit of brass there. I didn't take me brass over. That's in the future. So. Go. Right over there. 
fantastic plastic. Thing that the circuit boards are good for is getting a little bits of copper out of them and then the rest is just junk I'll show you what I'm talking about these little ones here there's copper in those um, little capacitor there probably another one in there so you can get all of those five there and that little one and then the rest is just junk because it's not like a computer board so but anyway that's out of a dishwasher I did take me um, circuit boards over and he, he didn't give me anything at all. He said that that's basically junk to me. So yeah. I thought, well, okay, that was a learning curve for me. Okay, this one here, we'll get rid of that coating on the outside. Wait, right, we'll just pull that out, can we? No, we've got another one. Okay, please. junk away and I've got more heaps of wire I'll just go grab my wire strippers I'll show you that it is copper ooh cut that piece off where did it go it's on the ground somewhere you probably can't see it on camera but you may be able to see it in the light there's a little bit of copper there strip a bit more off There you go. So that'll go as insulated number one. Ah, uh, number two, sorry. Because it'll go as number two because it's got the coating on. But anyway, I don't strip that size. It's just too small. So that's the start for the next lot. Had a fair bit of that. Anyway, get the rest of this wire out. Start cutting, I suppose. And cut, 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 cut. I get every skerrick I can out of here. I don't waste none of it. There's my bit. I'll process that stuff tomorrow. It's getting a bit dark. Dinner's just about getting served, probably. Squeeze on that. Can't see everyone. Oh, come on. Squishy, squishy. There we go. The screwdriver in it. Try it if you've got a lot of time to do this. There we go. It's out. Get rid of that plastic cork over there. Cut the end off tomorrow, and the rest is just rubbish to me. The spring can come off later. Um, it's only got a concrete brick there, so that just goes in the trash. Down over there. That's how much rubbish there is. Uh, put the stainless steel off that, like I said, and uh, yeah. So that's how they come apart. The motor. Off this is 
probably got a little bit of copper in it in there, but you can get aluminium wire in that. Uh, what to do with the screwdriver? See, yeah. the easiest way to find out is give it a scratch. If it's alloy wire, no, that's copper. That says you have to pull the motors apart, but you can leave them together and just leave it as a motor. You'll still get it if it's alloy. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video for the day. Um, me coming, going along and picking all the dishwashers up, the, the fridge. Uh, I'll get a lot of copper out of the motor in that. And um, all that, I'm still intrigued with where it says warning on the back of that. I might open that up before I go, go up to the caravan. But anyway, the RV, I'm going to leave it here everyone. It's getting a bit nippy. My hands are cold. So I hope you like this video. So if you like, don't... Damn phone. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you all on the flip side, everyone.